what if Gwen Stacy lived during the events of The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Now, events are going out as planned, but this time Peter is able to hold Gwen just a little bit longer with the webs until she can climb back up onto Peter. Now, Spider-Man actually would kick Green Goblin in the face so hard because he had a lot of adrenaline with him, and he would actually kick him so hard that it would just knock him completely out, and Peter would actually be able to use his webs to get Gwen back up where they were actually standing before and he did that and then he actually saw that the goblin got back up and pushed all three of them so we have the goblin spider-man and we have gwen all free falling from the tower and what happens here is peter has an opportunity he has a choice to either save gwen or save one of his best friends that was consumed by the darkness and he he just doesn't know what to do because everything's going through his mind. He's like, well, if I don't save Gwen, he's like, how am I going to save both? And he just has this one thing where he's like, okay, I got to choose this. And he actually saves Gwen. He uses his webs to like go back up, but it was like really full force. So he didn't really have enough time. And then he tries to save Harry. He just tries to, but then Harry breaks his neck and he completely, he dies. Like he fell, like his whole back and his neck just hit the ground and he died. So Harry hit like the hardest on the ground and like they were actually able to, uh, like Spider-Man and Gwen hit really hard on the ground, but they were able to survive because Spider-Man used his back to like save Gwen while using like webs. And it was too late, Harry landed on his back and he died. And him and Gwen would actually look at Harry and then Peter would yell out like, like this is all my fault, like what, what did he do? And then he was like, you know, if I would have just gave the blood, just maybe this could have all been prevented. This all could have been stopped. And Peter and Gwen would actually leave Harry for the cops to find that, you know, they that he was dead. And they actually left. And what would happen here is since we have a universe now where Gwen lived, a few months later would go by and Gwen and Peter would actually be living with each other where Gwen's university was in England. I think it was Oxford University. And Spider-Man would actually be stopping crime in the UK. And when he had his return, like, he'd actually be returning to the United States and in the UK, stopping crime in both areas. So now we have Spider-Man actually in two countries. So this was actually really cool because now uh, we have Spider-Man also fighting crime in the UK and in uh, New York City. And then actually, you know that mysterious man at the end of TASM 2 where he's walking and stuff with the hat at the end of the movie? Well, he actually had the plans without Harry Osborn to create the Sinister Six. So what he does is he finds out that Spider-Man actually murdered Harry. So he's like, you know what? We're going through with these plans. We're going to get the Sinister Six. We're going to terrorize New York City. And we're going to lure Spider-Man back to New York City and kill him then and there. And they're going to kill Aunt May. They're going to kill everybody that he knows. And the reason they went with these plans was because Harry uh, originally had the plans to take him out and, you know, they couldn't fulfill those. So, you know, the guy with the weird hat and stuff, he's like, you know what? No, like with or without Harry, we're going to kill Spider-Man. So back in New York City, uh, there's a huge explosion where the Sinister Six are and they're making a huge mess around the city. Now, the members of the Sinister Six is Electro. Vulture, Doc Ock, Rhino, Chameleon, and Shocker. So their whole plan now is to lure Spider-Man back. Might take him a few hours, but it doesn't matter because they're going to be terrorizing the entire city. You know, they're going to be killing everybody they see. So that's the plan. And eventually Peter would actually click the news. Like he would go on the news on his laptop and he would see that a reporter named Mary Jane was actually, you know, reporting on the news and was running. And then you would actually see like Doc Ock, like throw her into like a wall. And then the camera would actually break. The camera would break. And then Peter was like, you know what? Like I can't, like, he's like, I can't do this anymore. He's like, you know, I got to go back. They need Spider-Man. They need, this needs to be stopped. So Peter would actually go to Gwen, you know, I got to stop this madness because, you know, like I was originally supposed to protect New York and I'm, he's like, I'm not there. I'm failing the city. And Gwen actually tries to tell Peter that like, you know, like you can't do this on your own. Like there's no way you're going to stop this. And she tries to tell him not to go, but he said his responsibility to at least try and stop them. He takes his mask and he swings out the door and he's like, you know, this might take me a few hours to get there. 
but if I can get there and save people, that's all that matters. So a few hours go by, and Spider-Man would enter the city, and he'd be swinging as fast as he could, and he would see burning buildings, people yelling and screaming, and out of nowhere, Electro, like, because Electro was still alive somehow, and he would actually shock Spider-Man to death so powerful like there would be a huge force of power throwing him instantly on the ground and then dog Ock would actually come from behind him using his arms to throw him into a brick wall rhino's charging at him rhino's charging at him with a full force just charging into multiple walls and spider-man's just like half done and then vulture out of nowhere just comes and picks him up by his neck and actually like lets shocker just use tons of shock waves at spider-man throwing him to the ground and the chameleon would just stand there and just start kicking spider-man in the face and he would say like you know like you're finally gonna die spider-man and all this stuff and like they finally had an opportunity to kill him and spider-man would just be on the ground completely out of it because like he literally just got like destroyed by all these villains and the villains would all just stand there in a, in a circle kind of like spider-man ps4 they'd be standing there in a circle waiting for him to get back up on his feet and he would say like peter would joke around and say is that the best you guys got and awk would say actually no we have more where that came from and awk goes in his pocket and pulls out like this like black gooey stuff and i think we all know what that is and he throws it at him and actually spider-man has this stuff and he's like trying to fight it off and he's like you know you're only like awk says you know you're only gonna last like about like a few minutes until this like symbiote kills you and then you're completely dead you're gonna be consumed and peter would use his rage and he'd get really mad and try to throw it off of him try to rip it off but then the symbiote would actually consume him and then peter would actually be like you know what the power like this feels really good and he would stand back up and he'd be like you know what i have full control of this and then the sinister six members would be looking at each other and be like wait what like how is he still alive from this like this goo stuff should have killed him by now and then peter would stand back up with full symbiote on him you know tarantula everything and then he would say in like a really dark tone he'd be like who's next and then all the sinister six members would be looking at him and that's where we end our story because gwen is kind of out of the story but anyways that's how i think Gwen would actually live I feel like these events would take place during the events of the end of Tasm 2 and the start of probably Tasm 3 which I wish we could have gotten but due to Sony we didn't get we didn't get that so anyways what is your thoughts on uh what if Gwen Stacy lived you guys think that these events would have happened let me know in the comments down below I just thought I'd just give that like Sinister Six Spider-Man symbiote fight at the end that would be so cool if we ended up seeing that in real life tell me if you guys want part two because i actually would like to go in depth with like a tasm 3 video that that would be cool if we could like have symbiote spider-man just fighting the sinister six but anyways if you guys enjoyed you make sure to subscribe like share and turn your notifications on so you and your friends can stay up to date with the latest content but anyways peace out again Innocence falls prey to the evil of Spider-Man. Rest easy, Brock. Venom is here. And if it's the last thing we ever do, Jameson and the Insect are gonna pay.